Hello, Dream Syntax here. Today I'm actually going to be going over how I validate if a line is unused or not in Shadow the Hedgehog. And while making this video, I actually found that the particular example, this line right here, there's another map here, let's take a look. That line in particular is stupidly hard to produce and that itself makes an interesting video, so that's what we're gonna do. So first off, in the Shadow the Hedgehog hacking GitHub, we've made some tools that makes this much easier. The two tools in question are Heroes Power Plant, and Shadow the Hedgehog text editor right here. I'm going to open those up. You'd go to the releases on the side here, and this is different from Igor's release right here. That's the original one. Uh, these are features I've added, and specifically there's an experimental font integration, and that's what we're going to use. So you just grab this guy, and same thing for the font editor over here. Get the latest one and grab it from here. I already have that over here. You also need Dolphin, and you're going to take your original game here. This is the original USA version. Go to, go to Properties, File System tab, and extract the entire disk, because we're going to use it to validate if the, uh, the game data that we're looking for, the audio, is really used or not. All right, so I've extracted the game, and we're going to use Dolphin in a second here to actually prove that the files are used. But for now, let's open up the text editor. I'm going to pull up the audio we're going to look for. In this case, it's this Maria line. So pull up the text editor here, open the fonts folder, and you just go to where you extracted the game, files, fonts, and you just hit select folder, and it picks all of them. And so now from here, we can just search for that text. There's, and just remember, if you're listening to audio only, I'm assuming you listened to like the whole audio dumped, uh, just be careful how you use casing. Maybe there's no apostrophe. Try different variants, etc. So there's another map here. Oh, look at that. So we have one hit, and it's an 0401. That's the Doom. And if you don't know, you can actually just count the stages. So if I go to the select menu here, 0401 just means four to the right, and then from the top, one down. So 400 would be this, 401, 402, 403, 404, so on and so forth. So we know that it's the Doom. And this line is there. So there's another map here. Let's take a look. And that matches exactly what this is. And if you want to actually verify it's the same exact audio, you can hit open AFS file, go to files, and find the AFS file, hit that, and re-click it, and hit the play button. There's another map here. Let's take a look. So yeah, that's definitely the intended line. Maria spoke it. And if you're not 100% sure, underscore MR is a Maria line. Sometimes there's MR2 and... That Maria is an exception, so. All right, so now we know that this is definitely in the font, but we know from past experience, just because it's in the font doesn't mean it's actually used in the stage. So how can we check if it's actually used in the stage or not? So we're done with this. We can actually now go to Heroes Power Plant, the specific version that's on the Shadow Hedgehog GitHub. Open that up, go to Editor, Level Editor, Shadow Level, Open. And we know it's in 0401, so we want to go to Files, Stage 0401, here it is, and hit Select Folder. This will take a moment, depending on your computer speed. Uh, once this is done, we can go to Editors, Layout Editor, and these right here. You're only going to really care about Common, NRM, and Hard, but maybe you want to check all of them. Uh, in most cases, Trigger Talkings are in the NRM, so we're going to look there first. And this is an experimental version, so this layout is subject to change, but you can just drag out the bar to the right here, and you'll see this experimental shadow AFS slash font integration. We don't actually need the AFS, that's if you want to preview and hear the audio, but let's skip that for now. So let's go to font, and you need to go to files again, but this time you need to go to the fonts folder, and then choose the stage number, so 0401. In the future I'll probably make this more streamlined, and then choose the EN version. Alright, so from here, there's basically two types of objects that can have fonts with them. Uh, there is trigger talking, and then there's hint ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit right here on the layout editor and hit sort and say sort by ID. This will just make all the uh, objects sorted by what they are so it's easier to check them. So I'm gonna go hint ball first, and you'll see on the side here, we can actually read what the uh, font that's gonna play is. So I'm gonna go through these and check if this is what we're looking for. So none of those were the actual fonts we're interested in. So the next thing we want to check is trigger talking, and there's a ton of them. So you get the idea. This is how you can make sure if it's really used or not. So let's skip, because I already know where it is, because I did this in advance. And it actually ends up being this one. This one that has a link ID 130, and it says there's another map here. Let's take a look. Okay, so where is this actually in the level? If we go up here, you can hit view here, and now Heroes Power Plant is going to snap to here. 
And if you've never used Hero's Power Plant before, uh, you can move around with the WASD keys and the arrow keys to tilt, or you can press Z and this will lock your mouse and now you can move around with the mouse and the WASD keys to uh, move around the map here. Um, okay, so let's move in a little closer. Okay, so this orange selected box here, that's actually the trigger. So now we know where it is. And it's actually unwrapped in another trigger, so let me try to click that guy. And this one is... I think I remember there being another entryway up above here. Okay, and this has trigger link behavior disappear. So this is where the interesting part comes in. This 131, which has the line we're interested in, actually has trigger link behavior appear, and this is kind of abnormal. So what this is saying is, this trigger won't actually appear unless condition 130 is met. Well, what's condition 130? Let's hit link ID find, and you're going to see, oh no, no other object actually uses this. So wh what do we do about this? Um, what we need to do is go to the next layouts within the same level, so I know it's in the common. And now, just because I'm lazy, I'm going to say checkpoint. Actually, at first I'm going to do a sort by, oh, actually, no, let's not sort. I'm just going to grab the first object here, and I'm going to purposely type link ID 130. And we're not going to actually save this. This is just so we can hit find and see what other objects have it. So I'm going to hit find. And okay, okay, we found a gun soldier here. And this guy has link ID 130. So what this is saying is this guy must be defeated before this trigger will appear, before we can actually hear the hint line. And there's actually a number of 130s. And this is why this is so interesting to me. Let's go see where these guys actually are. I'm going to hit view here. And uh, you'll notice there's not actually a model here. If you want to add the model so this is more clear what's going on, uh, just hit Add Objects in Heroes Power Plant and go ahead and choose under the Enemy folder. I'm just going to be lazy and grab everything. Once that's done, I'm going to add another object one. And I'm going to actually add the Stage Common GDT. All right, there we go. So I'm going to hide triggers as well because it's kind of hard to see. Uh, Ooh, that appears to be a bug. I need to fix that later. Um, so that's not working right for this layout. Let's ignore that. Um, okay, so this guy right here, Gun Soldier, this is one of the ones, and this is actually in the same room. Um, if I turn that back on, the one we're interested in is in this corner here. So there's Gun Soldiers nearby. They need to be defeated first before this trigger will appear. And let's see if there's any others. So this guy and this guy need to be defeated. This Gun Beetle, where is that? This Gun Beetle... Okay, same room, just up above. Keep hitting find link ID. So there's another gun beetle up there as well. Is there any others? Another gun soldier. Same room in this little ambush area at the top of that section. So you actually have to defeat all of those gun soldiers before this trigger will appear. So this is very abnormal. I've never seen something like this. How about this guy? Oh, he's part of the ambush. Okay. There are four of them? That seems kind of weird. I only see three, so hold on. Let me make sure I didn't miss something. So the two on the bottom, okay. And the next one, 30, the gun beetle, the two gun beetle, third gun beetle up here. Gun soldier here. Okay, so there it was just three. Let's see, click this guy, hit find, and that's it. Oh, wait a minute, checkpoint 130, hold on. So you also had to have triggered this checkpoint. This is quite interesting. So that means if you didn't hit this checkpoint, I think this is the one at the very beginning of the stage. Yes, it is. If you didn't hit this, you're not actually going to trigger the, uh, the map line. So even if you kill all those gun soldiers, you come through here, if you skip this checkpoint, it's not going to trigger the line. Let's hit find again. And I think we've come full circle. Yes. Okay, so now we know what it is. It's kill all those gun soldiers. So there's two down here. Get all the beetles in this room. And you also need to take out the gun soldiers at the elevator ambush up top. Then and only then can you walk up to this little piece right here and trigger that, uh, that voice line right here. This one. Okay, so that is quite complicated and very abnormal. Uh, normally this is not the case. So I'm going to click a different one here. When it says trigger link behavior disappear, uh, this means when that condition is satisfied, this trigger isn't going to happen anymore. And this might actually be an issue because if you notice, this trigger right here 
is actually surrounding the area the other one is, and it's going to be triggered unless 132 is satisfied. Um, thankfully, there is like a little area here where we can trigger it and then just pause the game to make the line go away, and then we can walk into this, or we could just wait out the line, and then from there we should be able to trigger it. Okay, this was a lot of information and quite a weird scenario, so let's give it a try. I don't need that. So I'm going to launch the original game. Go to the Doom. All right. So one of the first things I want to try, actually, is do we really need to trigger all of those conditions? So the easiest one I can think of is this checkpoint. So I'm going to hit the checkpoint. Done. We've now satisfied that part of the condition. Let's pull up Maria. And let's get over to that area. And I happened to notice uh, the cage was there, and there's only one position in this entire stage with a cage. So I know exactly where that was. Okay, I'm actually going to save state. So, save state right here. So there's the, I think, another, I remember another entryway up here. The elevator will let you get up there. So those are the two that are going to keep reappearing. Let's let's confirm this. So if I walk away, then I come back. I should be able to reach over those. Mm, no. So maybe I misunderstood how appear works, but I definitely know how disappear works. Or maybe I wasn't far enough to way to uh, trigger to respawn. Let me go back away. Should be far enough. Okay, maybe not. So, appear is different, but uh, we walk over here, nothing happens. There's no voice line, no nothing. Let's get rid of that beetle. So it's seeming like we do need to actually destroy all of the uh, objects that are linked to it. So, there's still two other gun beetles. There's that one. Okay, that's the last gun beetle, and we also need to get the ambush soldiers up above, and there's three of them. Okay, so now we've satisfied. Uh, we should have satisfied all the conditions. So let's walk up to that wall, and there we go. So you do actually have to satisfy every single condition. So that means if we go back to where I was at the beginning here, and I didn't hit that checkpoint for some reason, <laughs> and you defeat all those soldiers, you're not going to trigger it. And to me, that's just wild that this is a possibility. This is such a weird set of conditions to trigger this line. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, maybe this will help if you're interested in finding if there's unused voice lines or not or validating. Now you know how to do it. Uh, this is probably the best way to 100% be sure. And if you're going based on just the audio files that are dumped raw from the AFS, uh, just using the font editor is a good start because from there, if the files aren't found, uh, there's no text references that you know 100% it's not used. But if it is found, there's a chance it is used, but maybe not. Or it'll be like this, where it's a really weird condition that not a lot of people will trigger. <laughs> so, hope this has been entertaining. This is just a very strange scenario. Get the last beetles again. I'm holding fast forward. This elevator is very slow. All right. All right, so now we've satisfied every single condition except the checkpoint. Ooh, so that's interesting. The checkpoint wasn't needed. Not sure why the checkpoint has that same link ID then. So, don't know what to say about that. Let me make sure I didn't hit it on accident. No, I certainly didn't. So that is interesting. Bravo team, respond. Get him. Get ready to fire. All 
maybe that was originally intended to be the only trigger for that line to play if you had gotten the checkpoint then they mentioned the map uh, but then they later added the gun soldiers uh, it's very wonky how link id behavioral works in this game so who knows but yeah now we've solved the mystery of that line and we will hopefully have an understanding of how to find lines like this in the future thanks for watching